How's it going, guys? Welcome back. This is Matt and Mike, Team Diecast here again. We uh, we want to give you guys uh, our uh, our thoughts today on this uh, new gem that GW released. Yep, they finally released a beta version of their army builder. Holy effing shit! It's only like three months, four, four months, months. <laughs> something like something that. Something late past their most current promise of it <laughs> and it's a beta so they're like well we were gonna have this ready for you on the day that we release stuff but we need you to test it out too and boy we've been testing it out since it came out at this point i think it's been about a week and a half something like that it's been it's been out for for a decent amount of time at least enough to be dicking around with it and uh, we we found so this is the way you do you do it properly is it's like when you're when you're at work and you have to give that you have to give the bad news sandwich. It's the good news, then the bad news, and then you cover it with good news again. That we're gonna try to do that with this. Um, <laughs> it's a big burger in the middle though. <laughs> well, um, one of the big things on this one new app. Is definitely it looks great looks sleek looks nice the pictures of the models next to the the title of the unit is just just it's sick it's awesome on the actually showing you the breakdown of each of the detachments mm -hmm. on what goes in them very nicely done and laid out well yeah the way the way it functions in the way it functions when it comes to checking out your units and stuff like that, looking at their abilities, if you have the book, that it, it it's really nice, really smooth. There's just a couple issues we have with it. Those are most of our actual pluses. <laughs> I saved something for the top, but yeah. I don't know what it was yet. One of my first complaints I came across was that none of the Psychic Awakening, at least that I have tried is in there for any of the factions that still have their psychic awakenings like tyranid so, is not there at all yeah it so it did you're hamstrung now because hey you have something that's still supposed to be viable it's still supposed to be used at least to our knowledge and it is not usable now in the app because well the app is post Blood of Ball post, yeah, everything eighth edition ish, the eight point five ish, whatever they call it. And now we're in ninth, and it should still be there, but yeah, uh, at least until it's overruled. Overruled. Um, the there's there's some funkiness, like with the Necrons new codex uploaded and all that stuff. I had selected a, uh, I had selected the uh, sub, the sub whatever, uh, sub dynasty of Novok, and uh, I was trying to assign the Shard of the Nightbringer to that detachment, because you can have one per detachment, one Satan Shard. It's not allowing me to throw it there so it leaves it kind of like in limbo that was one of the other problems another one that's similar to his um if you're doing multiple detachments that are of slightly different um for example the way i tripped across this um different high fleets and you select a relic that's specific to a high fleet it pops an error even if it is in the right detachment that you assigned it saying it's not um, eligible to be put there because of your high fleet. And I'm like, but I, it's in the right detachment. Yes, my other detachments aren't that high fleet, but it's in the right detachment for that high fleet and that for that hey, weapon. The other thing that I wasn't keen on, like I'm used to um, in most, even prior army builders for stuff back in the day, you had your unit and then your unit you can modify whatever is in there, um, and you had your options in your list of shit. Um, whether it's your loadout or your abilities. One of the things that I was playing with on here was Catacomb Command Barge. But I could only choose like the primary weapon and then the weapon for the noble up top. And 
after that, it wouldn't let me adjust anything else, even though it is supposed to, it's supposed to get like a dynasty, dynastic um, relic or whatever it is. And I couldn't adjust that, I couldn't find it. You have to go to the warning message it gives you when you first select it, and then you have to walk through that page selecting all the stuff for it. And it makes it really hard because when you're trying to, uh, when you're trying to like compare and, and look at abilities, one of the things that I saw was like Battle Scribe was a lot quicker where I could go view and then swap the item, you know, swap the item out, view the next ability. This one, you had to go through the entire run, then you're done, you look at it, and you're like, well, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> well, here, well, along those lines, when you are looking at the list, it, it does list all of them out, and you don't have to tab into them. That is one plus. But the interaction to be able to pick those upgrades, you have to leave your screen you're in on the character, go into another subscreen, then go over to the tab on that subscreen to go to it to pick your... Um, weapons or relics or warlord traits. Yeah. Now I don't mind that screen because also in there is where your pre-game stratagems are. I like the fact that it's you know in a sub screen off to the side type thing because that's where the pre-game stratagem should be during your list building. But on the flip side of that, the negative of it, because of course trying to critique it, you know, it doesn't show you all of your pre-game stratagems. It only shows you the ones that you are currently eligible f to use at that moment. So you can't even go like, oh yeah, there's that stratagem if I take this unit. No, it's just not there. It's not even darkened out. It's just nothing. Yeah, it's and and I guess maybe it's getting used to or being spoiled by like the way Battlescribe has stuff set out. But when you work through Battlescribe, it's literally like top down in the fashion that you really want to f you know, formulate your units, even if it's not, it's drop down menus that are quick and easy and you can still see most of your information. Oh, yeah. This, you're when you're when you're looking at one portion of your, your army, you're fully enveloped in that unit, that its abilities. Oh, yeah. And it's nice, especially when it comes to I would say the research portion, when you're really trying to get granular with how the unit operates, what's the exact wording on its rules, to be able to have that at your fingertips rather than flipping through, you know, 120 pages, like, that's badass. However, when you're setting up the army, it's an army builder, it should be, I think it should be streamlined. Oh, yeah. And with the streamlining... Um, I think this is complaint 23. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of the things that Quick <laughs> um, that I really was frustrated with with this um, GW1 is when you go to select your units, it gives you all the units. And this is throwing yeah. in all of the other factions you can ally with. All the units. All of the different um, unit types. So your troops, your HQ, everything's all jumbled into this huge list. Yeah, they're kind of factioned off like all the HQs here, but if you're trying to put in an extra troop, you have to scroll through your elites. You have to scroll through the HQ. Then you get to your troops finally, and it's mixed in with all your allied factions. As an example, I did go through and I chose um, Adeptus Astartes, and then I chose Space Wolves as my as as my um, sub my my sub uh, faction. And so I go to add to that to that detachment of Space Wolves, and I get Adrax Agatone, I get some Space Wolves, I get Asmodee from the, the Dark Angels there, uh, I get Azrael from the Dark Angels, I get, oh, there's a Dreadnought, there's Be Belisarius Call from Admech. You get, um, yeah, you get Inquisitors mixed in there. You get the... So now everything. I get to go through and be like, what unit was I was looking for for the Space Wolves? And like, this could be because I'm just too stupid to figure out how to thin this down. But I'm looking through and I'm like, well, I forget exactly what I'm trying to go for here. Because, uh, yeah, it has everything. Yeah, it makes navigating it a bit annoying. Like... 
When you're going through the Tyranids, you have all your Blood Brothers there. That means you have all the Imperial Guard. And then you have all of the Gene Stealer Cult. You have all of your Tyranids there, too. And it's just like, oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> that was a nightmare to try to put together. I got, like, three characters in, and I was like, Haha, I ain't got enough time for this. <laughs> so, um, if they were to... And after you put your list together, and you have all your characters selected... I have yet to find a way to exactly sort your characters in what order you want them listed. Well, I've got the top button of the compliment sandwich. I just th thought of it. Oh. But yes, uh, it's the same way, like, can't sort the characters. Um, it's, like, it just, it needs to be forcefully organized to where shit comes out in a specific layout each time regardless of what's chosen that way you know where to look for everything i mean i guess so that it's more easy across the board it's um, uniform one bright side is is that you can um pop a guy out of one of your um formations so you can pop it out of a battalion and drop a character in a patrol really quick and easy that's super simple yep Unfortunately, it just kind of randomly throws him in, so there's no sorting him when you drop him in. Like, I added an extra um, swarm of rippers into my Tyranid troop list, and it, it plopped him below my warriors instead of next to the other ripper swarms that were in there. And I was like, oh, God, that looks so annoying to me. My OCD, like, kicks up, you know? Need them next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely doesn't look look right, when, especially when when you're going from an organization list. Like you, it it needs it needs to be better better managed than that. Do I have other complaints? Because those um, are generally like like I said, that was a big burger. Um, <laughs> there's probably a lot more small things that we're not covering, but overall, you can definitely feel this needs a lot of updating. They have the database literally on the app to pull this stuff from um i was kind of disappointed with them not pulling like the blood all the psychic awakening in there though the one thing that i would have to say i do like that they actually decided to not go full dickhead on was they're not going they're only going to withhold i think it was the rules they're going the to special allow the rules. stats yeah for every unit to be shown though which is awesome because the, that is what you need for, like, when you're planning against stuff and, and you're really trying to hammer down against, uh, um, like, trying to create a tournament list. Um, you, of course, need to know the special rules, but the special rules of anything that's going to be heavy of the meta, you're yeah. going to know already by heart. At least that's the way it tends to be with most tournament now, players. I know um, one complaint I've heard from other people was that if there's a book that you don't have, there's no way to, like, quick buy it or something like that right. through the app. Like, you can't just forward you to the GW site to order your book or something like that. Um, I heard some complaints about that, or even a digital-ish, you know, you just pay the 50 bucks and you have the book sent to you, and, right, <laughs> and then your app's code. activated right there or something. That would be kind of cool. Um that would that would make sense i do think that they i honestly think that they should just for the provided fee uh or for the fee monthly I think fee, monthly they should fee. just provide it anyways yeah i definitely and feel that too it, it's not for free for all you dickheads who are like people just watch it for free no but you're still paying a monthly fee and if you don't think that's a lot, I mean, I was just on Facebook and I joined a uh, a, a group of forty thousand individuals. If ten, if if ten percent of them are have that app, have have the the Games Workshop forty k app, that's more than enough to pay for all the books that they're losing out on, because most people, especially especially the diehard fans and stuff of their chapters are going to want the books anyways just to have them for the fluff the stat lines i mean and most people that want to look at the stuff when they don't own the book 
is usually to know if your op opponent's lying to you or not. It's not the fact of, oh, I just want to write a list and not buy any books. It's never that. It's usually, yeah. is Steve over there full of BS or not? You know, yeah. <laughs> does his, um, uh, you know, captain for the Marines actually have an AP-5 12 damage weapon? You know? And I understand <laughs> people can say, well, the TO would be the one who knows that shit. That's some bullshit. TOs, TOs have made bad calls in nearly every tournament I've right. played in. So they don't know it all. No, Nobody's going to know everything. And if a TO were to have access to something where they could just pay the monthly fee to have access to the rules, they'd be able to quickly look up that stuff without Two having minutes. to buy each book. Two minutes, awesome. they're like, nope, this is rules written. There you go. Cool. Have a nice day. Yeah. But... You know, th those are um, more meta versions or <laughs> of the well, that's, complaints on that. Yeah, it's like tournament bitching. Um, the two things there was there was actually two things that that I wanted to like top this burger off with um, that I wanted to commend them on being able to copy and print or share the list is super easy, and it shows it at each stage. Oh, yeah. You add whatever, subtract whatever. You you open it up again. Everything's added, subtracted. Like it's it's shows points left, um, how many CP, everything. Like it has all the information. I thought that was super cool. I thought it was right. really slick design how they have it. I think there was one other thing that I was gonna say that I liked about it, but it tends Ooh, to be that was an another complaint since you just did a plus after you at well, least right now after you name um or after you make your army list you cannot rename it unless we're too dumb to figure it out we have it not just, found it right when you right in the beginning you can name your list but then after that it's that it is Ooh. what it is and um we didn't talk about the other little slice of life thing you cannot duplicate your units after you set them up so literally if you are having like three packs of you know intercessors and since they don't defaultly come with the chain sword equipped even though it's zero point upgrade you have to manually go in and set up each individual unit separately over and over and over again battle scribe definitely got that one right where it was like oh because for uh for, for the tomb blades you have to set every one of them up individually in battle scrap. Once you do that, though, if you want a second unit, duplicate. If I have to do that in here, which I did not look at it because my battery is almost dead. Uh, if I have to do that in here, though, that is going to drive me goddamn nuts. Oh, yeah. I will probably throw my phone at the wall and then someone's getting mailed anthrax. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, the... Uh, uh, what is what I there's there's one last good thing that I wanted to say about this. I'm not sure right off. I'm trying to think of another um, positive because I don't want to end this totally on a negative note, and then we'll go to oh, our. Oh, 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 this is just the beginning. Yeah. In the end, when they make it, when they get it fully finished, and I'm sure there's there's going to be plenty of community input. And plenty of bitching. And plenty of oh, yeah. pats on the back. Um, GW, as of right now anyways, is tending to listen to their to their their customers, their fan base, the people that have created their company for them. So, if they continue to do so, this app will eventually become something that everyone desires what they want it'll be easily easy to use um easily updated and probably have a have longevity across editions to come or maybe this is the final edition and it's gonna be just a living rule set who knows yeah so it's there's the possibility and that's something that's great to look out for um I do think they should tie a bow on it and make it a happy ending for everyone. Take that guy who makes the ITC Battles app and then you take Battle Scribe people and just hire them 
and then like here please fix most of this and make it what you guys would with our budget and then watch people go to town oh yeah but for overall I would say that that's the long term positive oh yeah button for the top <laughs> now for the overview what our full thoughts on it are thanks for having battle scribe Right now, I'm definitely um, still going to use Battle Scribe over this, just because, at least in its current beta form, it is missing too many bells and whistles. You can't functionally make a list in even half the time that you need to. <laughs> and to be completely uh, honest, Battle Scribe is something that I'm used to now, so being familiar with the operating system or the way it operates is definitely helpful in choosing which one I'd like to use right now. But on the bright side, I am definitely, um, I like the potential that this has. It's gonna be great when it finally, you know, gets that, all the bugs and bells and whistles functioning in it, which are gonna be amazing. But as it sits right now, it it's like, hey, look at this nice um, chrome polish that you did on the bumper and the rest of the car is still rusty. <laughs> Definitely, if you agree or you disagree, or if we may have overlooked something, or uh, we're we're not knowledgeable enough on the app to have found like some of the stuff that we had complaints about, in the comments below, hit us up, let us know, because it's it's definitely useful, and I believe it's more fair for it to receive a good or to receive a review that is a. Uh, that's fully knowledgeable amongst all the individuals that have that have uh, used it so far oh yeah um like if you guys know some cool functions on it that we didn't see throw them down in the comments if there's a bad glitch that's like you know nails on the chalkboard to you uh, put it down there yeah if you guys <laughs> if you make a video about it or whatever drop we'll drop the link in there like you just it's stuff stuff we want to see. We want to be able to spread that knowledge to everyone so that people know what they're getting into. And hopefully GW will maybe fix some of the complaints we had. Which yeah, we could be a big old siren of complaints for them. That, that, huh? And we're not trying to say it's like a bad product. It's like they said, it's a beta test. So we definitely have hopes for it. And I love the initial look of it. It is amazing looking. But there are some procrastinating motherfuckers. So... <laughs> They need, next time you say, and with the launch of this box, you need to be, like, on the ball, not, like, four months later, guys. Yeah. It, um, right now, it definitely feels like you bought the um, that big old battle set, but none of the screws were in it. <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. Um, but, yeah. Uh, like and subscribe. Comments below. We Like we just said, it's... Oh, yeah. All sorts of all sorts of talk and make sure we uh, stir up all the ideas and information in the community. Oh, yeah. And if you also have a idea on how they can make that better, throw it down in the comments too. Hell yes, anything to make them have to read more. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. Have a good night, everyone. We'll see you. <laughs>